Yo guys, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Caesar, and this is a very short video. In this video, I will be uh, walking you through how to resolve web SDK errors. Uh, with further ado, let's begin. I have noticed a uh, few of you developers have uh, found some problems uh, in integrating the web SDK. So, uh, if you go to the developer dev form, and you will uh, if I go to the main website and here you will see that the latest and greatest version right now is 1.7.8 and it's it, it is five uh, hours ago it is released five hours ago and yeah it's right now it's Thursday uh, June 9 so uh, if you want to integrate uh, 1.7.8 because uh, they don't have a more likely back back they don't have backward compatibility so we need to upgrade it to latest uh, version 1.7.8 so how to uh, upgrade our uh, zoom web sdk you just need to click on the first link and here you will find the command to update the uh, web sdk package i already have uh, done that if in my console you can see i have run this uh, command right now and i have installed 1.7.8 version previously it was 1.7.6 i believe and uh, after that i have uh, run my application uh, which built successfully as uh, the meeting has, hasn't started yet so that's why it's giving us that error and uh if it's st still doesn't work for you for you guys you need to make sure that you provide uh, this object in assets in your angular.json file you need to make sure that you have added the style specified by the zoom web sdk you need to make sure that you have installed correctly jquery so uh these are only options you need to configure in angular.json other than that there is uh, nothing special in here and in index as i have shown in my first video you just need to uh, display none uh, the zoom root and here in the constructor you just need to show it uh, by uh, updating the style to block so uh, that was it and uh, let me show you a demo we have just updated to 1.7.8 uh, i am going to schedule a new webinar or meeting whatsoever i'm not gonna use any password i'm not gonna be uh, recording this video i'm not gonna be doing qa it's just simple plain webinar just like a meeting so i am going to do schedule it and here we have uh, our meeting id let's copy the meeting id from here and we need to provide it in our constructor so i have pasted the meeting id in constructor uh, the set config method will be called as i have explained in my first video this video is very short and i'm not a, not gonna explain a lot of things so just start this webinar uh, open zoom meeting Uh, let's do our control shift n and let's go to my youtube channel and let's share the screen uh, i'm gonna share this screen share it and uh, this uh, screen is now sharing and I just need and by the way uh, if uh, this pop up in all you you can turn this off uh, plus if you have any camera option is turned on you can also hide them uh, you just need to go to more and hide floating meeting control you can hide it and if you have if you want to hide the camera control same control will be found there so 
uh, uh, we have selected this window to share by the zoom so uh, to uh, get it back you just need to press escape it will it will come back okay uh, don't worry if it goes away uh, let's go to our application uh, our application I believe will pause uh, let's do it here Okay, 200. Our first page does work. Let's go to the zoom. And meeting is not started yet. Okay. It's giving us timeout. Uh, let's compare the meeting ID. Uh, here is an invite option. So it's not coming here. Let's go and debug launch and this is the meeting ID I believe so. Control F control V uh, yes. Let's correct control S control C let's just serve it again. Okay, it has run successfully. Let's reload this page. Yes, it's working. So, uh, join by audio. And come on. Yes, it's working. So uh, let's review it again. I'm gonna end this webinar stop here and meeting and meeting for all. Okay, so uh, we have our second attempt successfully. We're done. You just need to go to a uh, Zoom dev form and you need to make sure that whatever is new release, you need to update it because they don't have. Uh, backward compatibility so you need to install 1.7.8 how to install it you just need to click on this link and just go to this npm source uh, just you you just need to uh, copy this and uh, uh, paste it in, in your angular application after that you just need to uh, uh, reserve your application and it will uh, start again and uh, if it doesn't solve, uh, solve your problem still you just need to go to angular.json you need to make sure that you have provided an object the same object in assets folder you just need to make sure that you have provided the web sdk um, libraries here you just need to make sure that you have added the jquery uh, that's it for the angular so thank you so much guys uh, for your views, for your comments. Uh, I hope you like this video as well. Uh, I will be uh, making more videos like these. Uh, I will be, uh, I promise I will do it more frequently as you many have been uh, waiting for the second video, but due to the workload, I couldn't able to do that. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, but I will promise you that uh, my next video will be very soon. Uh, stay tuned. Take care. Take care of your family. Uh, have a good day. Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye.